Let's open our browser and go to our SharePoint site. And one thing you'll notice if you're paying attention is that we didn't even have to log in with our username and password. It automatically knew that we were the administrator. One thing that's great about Microsoft products is that they tie together very well. You'll notice if I go down here and click Start that I'm actually logged into Administrator on my computer. This is something called Single Sign-On and it makes our lives much easier so that way we're not having to put in a username and password for every little program. So now what I'm going to do is log in with Candy Caroline on a different browser. So I'll go ahead and type SB2010 here. And you'll notice it's actually asking me for a username and password this time. That's because we're not using Internet Explorer. So I'll go ahead and put in your credentials. Candy Caroline and the password SharePoint123. And then I'll go ahead and click Login. And you'll notice our access is denied. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead into IE again. And then we're logged in as administrator. We're going to go ahead to Site Actions site settings and people and groups. Now you notice here that there are a lot of different groups on the left. What we're going to do is we're going to add Caroline to the home visitors. Go ahead and click new and click browse and I'm going to type in Car Caroline or, or car hit the search and it finds Candy Caroline and it's actually pulling this information from the Active Directory domain. So go ahead and click add, click OK Click OK. And now we've added Candy Caroline to our SharePoint site. Now we'll go back to Chrome and see if we're able to log in. And there we are. We're able to log into our SharePoint site with Candy Caroline, and she's able to access all of our different information. Now, remember, she was only granted um, visitor home visitor access. So if we go up here to our document library and try to check in or check out a document, we won't be able to because she has a view only permissions. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove Caroline from the home visitors and see what happens. I think we all know that she's not going to have access anymore, but it's going to set us up for our next example. So we'll go back to IE. We'll go ahead and click on her name. Go to Actions, Remove Users from Group, click OK. So now Caroline is no longer a member of the home visitors. So if we go back to Chrome, hit enter to refresh the page, what's going to happen? Access denied. Okay, that's exactly what we thought. So now we'll go back to IE. Now Caroline is no longer a member of the home visitors and won't have access to the site. Now let's go ahead and create a new group. We're going to call it the group Cranberry Managers. So we'll go to Stores, Cranberry. Site Actions, Site Settings, People and Groups, click on Groups, go to New, New Group. For the name, we'll type in Cranberry Managers. Then we'll type in our description, Managers of the Cranberry Stores. We'll keep all the options default and click Create. And now you notice on the left here, we have Cranberry Managers, and I'm the owner. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add two new people to this group. We'll go to New, Add Users, hit Browse, Val, Browse, double click, hit OK, hit OK. Now you'll notice very, very Val is a member. And finally, we'll add Caroline. So we'll go ahead up here. And we'll just go ahead and click, add, OK, OK. And now Candy Caroline, Administrator, and Very Berry Val are all part of the Cranberry Managers group. Now let's see what happens when you try to log back into SharePoint with Candy Caroline. OK, access is denied. Well, the reason for this is we really haven't assigned any permissions yet to this group. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll go to Site Actions, Site Permissions. We're going to stop inheriting permissions. Press OK. And now all the permissions of the parent sites will not automatically be propagated to our Cranberry site and the objects or resources of Cranberry. 
Now, we've already created our Cranberry Managers group, so we want to now grant that group permissions. Browse, Cranberry, Cranberry Managers, okay. Then what we'll do is we'll do full control and press OK. Does this mean Cranberry Managers have full control of any of Cranberry's parents? Well, let's find out. We'll see if Caroline can log into our home or root site. It looks like her access is still denied. Now what we'll do is we'll go back to the Cranberry store. We'll copy this, or I could have typed it in manually. You'll notice our layout is stores, then Cranberry, then default ASPX. We'll go here. And we'll hit Control V to paste, press OK, and look. Caroline now has access to all of the Cranberry information. And if, and if she wants, she can actually create uh, lists or any item in here because she has full control. So now let's go back to our Cranberry group and change its permissions around a little bit. Go to Site Actions, Site Permissions. We'll click Cranberry Managers and click Edit Permissions. This time we'll change from Full Control to Read. The reason that happened now is because I'm signed in as Candy Caroline and I just removed her full privileges. But if we go back to here, if we recall our default.aspx, she still has view permissions. So let's go ahead and click on Lists. Now you'll notice that create button is now gone because she only has view access. Now this time to change the permissions, I have to go back to IE because Caroline does not have full access. Go to site actions, site permissions, the Cranberry managers, edit permissions, and we'll go back to full control. And now we'll go back to Caroline We'll go to Lists, and now her Create button has popped up. Now just to recap, remember the permissions that Caroline now has is full control for anything that is a child of Cranberry. So does she have access to the other store site? If you remember, you can go back to IE, go to our stores, if we go to Mars, does Caroline have access to Mars? No, she does not. And that's because her permissions were given at Cranberry and they weren't given to the Mars location. Okay, we're going to go back into IE. And finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you how to delete a group. We'll have to go to the correct site, go to Stores, Cranberry, we go to Site Actions, Site Settings, People and Groups, click on Groups, and then we'll go to Cranberry Managers, click on Edit, and then we'll click Delete, and OK. So now we're back to exactly where we started, only this time now we know how to manipulate users and groups within SharePoint. I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson today. Uh, feel free to let us know how we're doing and if there's anything else that you would like to see in any of these videos. Thank you everyone for joining us and I'll see you next time.